Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now, we will be, just, we'll be we are resuming from the portion where we left in the last tutorial. We were look we were trying to find the length of the length of a line connecting a point and the origin, the angle it makes with the, the angle it makes with the x-axis, x-axis and, and now we'll be fi we'll be finding the the quadrant in which the point x comma y lies uh, x comma y lies uh, using if statement and uh, if statements and relational operators okay now what's an if state now what's an if statement an if statement is a decision making statement that says that decides what has to be done when certain conditions are met and what has to be done what uh, uh, simple as that what has to be done when certain conditions are met something like if this happen is, is is the logic is like this if certain thing happens do this else if, if some some other thing happens do this else if some other thing happens do this ultimately none of these things happen none of the expected things happen do this this is the uh, basic logic of if okay now to write an if statement it goes like this what you need is you have to write the keyword if and then within and then you have to write the condition okay then you have to write the keyword then and then you have to write your set of condition that you have to follow okay and if and if this condition that you mentioned here does not work you have to write else and then write else if and then you have to set a new condition then if this if this condition is followed then you have to set a set of rule uh, set of set of instructions to follow and this goes on if this if this else does not work you have to go with another else if there is another possibility and this goes on and finally if none of the uh, conditions set above or set above or stuff worked but you finally set up a few more con uh, conditions if a few more instructions uh, to tell the program that none of this worked so I'm quitting it up uh, doing this and then to ensure that the, if the end the, this decision branching is over you have to type this end if command okay this is how the basic logic goes by as per this logic as per this logic uh, you don't need an else statement you, you don't need an else statement by default in the program and you can have as many else if statements as you want in an if sta if, if construct sometimes if statement if if then else statement is also called as if construct because it's kind of a uh, orderly manner or procedure in which the certain things have to be done okay now for this point for uh, for our logic we, i'm not using going to use the angle to find the quadrant where i'm using the sign conventions for the uh, sign con the signs of x and y for the point so i'm saying if x is positive y is positive if you guys i mean you guys must be aware of the x and y coordinate co uh, quadrant split and the sign conversion in the quadrants if both the coordinates x and y are positive then you are in qu first quadrant then you are in quadrant one okay if x is negative going anti-clockwise so x is negative and y is positive you are in quadrant two okay if x is negative y is negative then you are in quadrant three and then if x is positive and your y is still negative then y is negative then you are in quadrant 4 okay the thing is if x is positive and y is negative then then q is 1 so i'm i'm saying i'm i'm trying to make the uh, trying to make this if statement little more logically if x quad x is positive and y is positive then the point is in q1 is in q1 agree else or else if this doesn't work else if x is positive and y is negative then point is in q q2 if this doesn't work else if x is negative and y is negative then point is 
in quadrant 3. Finally, because, uh, finally, there is a uh, last alternative because after this alternative, the other values cannot be possible. So what we say is that uh, what we what we can say is that else else point is in. We don't want this because the by it's understood by default that if, if none of the above conditions work, then the point has to be in uh, fourth quadrant. So we say that the point is in quadrant 4 to indicate that we let's use a character variable character q okay now let's set the now this is the logic we saw we write we have to write here now if you guys notice this is a proper if condition that we use in normal you know english english manner and this is exactly getting translated here how watch if if x is is positive so if x greater than or equal to 0 okay this means that x is positive and you need an and statement for that the logical the logical and is actually given by this a uh, and d with a dot okay and uh, y y greater than or equal to 0 then what I do is that q equals quadrant 1 so I write this as like this that's all as the statement I need else what I can do if this is the if this doesn't work good okay uh, other possibility is that q is less than 0 and y is greater than Sorry, if x is less than 0, less than or equal to 0, and q, sorry, and y is greater than or equal to 0, then it means the po point is in quadrant 2. Okay, now if I just were to copy this again, I can reuse the same code with a little modification to, you know, save some typing, save some typing. Okay, now, by the same logic, if q uh, if the if the if the x value is less than zero and the y value is less than zero, then the point three point is in quadrant three. When finally if none of them if none of them uh, agreed agrees, that means by default the point is in quadrant four. So I write this as point. I write this as four. Okay. Now. Now. Let me mention you guys a few uh, a logical op. I mean, okay. Uh, there are a few more logical operators and stuff okay these are not the only logical operator expressions we can use another logical operators also anyway I'll explain that and I'll explain that in the next tutorial next tutorial we'll be looking at a few more things and that I'll explain you guys little about logical operators and uh, relational operators little carefully now as of now just follow with me this means greater than or equal to this means greater than this means less than or equal to there are other also so uh, the point point is in quadrant comma q okay this being said this is this is how we set the value for this is how we set uh, the if, if, if else if else statement okay now the program is ready let's compile this build this with f8 and f9 and then run this let the point let me give value 3 and for x and 4 for y yeah l the length is 5 the angle is 53 degrees the point is in quadrant 1 because because x is greater than 0 it's 3 and y is greater than 0 so q is set to 1 and we get it here let's check this condition with another point now let me just set this x to be minus 3 and y to be 4 it's in quadrant 2 perfect our logic is going, working out to be fine now I run this again we guys once you guys compile and build it as long as you don't you don't uh, make any corrections to the file you don't have to compile and build all the time you just have to execute with f5 that's enough okay now you now let me give you a point minus 3 and minus 4 this should be in quadrant 3 yes it does and finally the last option uh, 
the point is in co co uh, the x x four x is positive, y is negative. Yeah, the point is in quadrant four. Perfect. There you go. There you have it, guys. We have successfully completed our program to you know find the point, find the length of distance connecting the point and the origin, the angle that this line makes, and the quadrant in which the point lies. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we'll go into a little more. De we'll go a little more deeper into uh, the re relational logical operators, the type of operators available, and then uh, we'll go into other other programs and all. So thank you guys for watching. So see you guys around.